In this illustration, we can see another connection of a spherical capacitor. And here we are given that figure shows a capacitor of which outer shell is supplied a charge by a battery, and inner one is left without any connection. And we are going to find the effective capacitance of the system. So here again we can see there are C1, C2, two capacitors, uh, and we can assume the outer one of uh, outer plate of C2 is assumed to be connected to Earth as it is uh, infinity at zero potential. So, in this situation, if we draw the equivalent circuit, uh, this equivalent circuit uh, will again be drawn as a combination of C1 and C2, where the middle shell is connected to a battery and then another terminal of batteries are. The inner plate of C1 is left open, it is not connected anywhere, and the outer of C2 is uh, connected to R. So, in this situation, battery will only supply the charge in this loop and only charge will be received by C2, where potential at this point is 0 and at point is V. So, charge on this system will be C2V. So, we can write that effective capacitance here is only C2 and the values of C1, C2 are already known to us, which are 4 pi epsilon AB upon B minus A and this 4 pi epsilon B. But here we can see that the C1 will left uncharged because one plate of C1 is not connected anywhere. So only capacitance which is useful here is 4 pi epsilon naught b. That is the answer to this problem.